this shows the um, energy ellipsoid and the momentum ellipsoid so that we can define the locus of the omega vector. The omega vector is going to uh, come from the origin and uh, we need to establish a coordinate system of omega of x, omega y, and omega z and then the omega vector will come from the origin of that system. We have the intersection of the ellipsoids and as the ro ro body rotates the omega vector will point to that intersection of ellipsoids. So how do we get these ellipsoids? Well, the energy ellipsoid is given by this formula up here. And if you multiply that out, you get the rotational energy which you can put it in elliptical format and solve for the axis of the ellipse and that would give you the vertical ellipsoid. If you look at the momentum ellipsoid you can solve for the angular momentum. Again put it in ellip in a ellipsoid format which is done over here and that would give you the horizontal ellipsoid. Where they intersect, you'll get the what we call the pole hode. And the pole hode um, is the intersection of the ellipsoids and the locus of the vector.